Okay guys, time for a change of pace. We're gonna be doing a little bit more hobby stuff on the channel due to COVID, and if you like it, we'll do even more. Today we're going to be doing a free hand on a Marvel Crisis Protocol car. I know what you're trying to do. No, no, Spider-Man. I'm not pivoting the channel to be about MCP. I'm just making a video about hobby stuff. And it won't work. Okay, well, with that vote of confidence, let's get into this. Does anyone even have a plan? I have a plan. We are painting the No Expectations mural from Into the Spider-Verse. We are putting it on one of the cars that comes in the core set. Terrain is even more important in MCP since you can throw it at each other. We will start by assembling and priming the car, then move on to base coating and the small details and working on the freehand. Then we will wrap it up with finishing all the little finicky details on the car. Oh, don't forget step seven. Step seven. Don't do any of that. I cut the car off the sprue and glue it together using plastic cement, which fuses the pieces of plastic together. With the priming and base coat, I'm using an airbrush, but you can get the same effect with rattle cans. I start with Vallejo Black Service Primer, and I move on to a Zenithal Highland. Many people will do a gray Zenithal and then a more fine white one. For my Zenithal, I like to use the white Dollar Brownie ink. It's semi-translucent, so the first pass is gray, and then the more you build it up, the more white it gets. I base coat the car in sun yellow. Next, I'm going to do an oil wash to quickly black line the car. If you've never done an oil wash, you have to add it to your hobby arsenal. It's like a GW wash, but much cleaner and much cheaper. We start off with a gloss coat. This will protect the work from the mineral spirits that we're about to put on it. Next, we mix the oil wash. Here I use Windsor Newton's Ivory Black. You can get a whole tube of this for like $7 at a hobby store and mineral spirits from any hardware store for about the same amount of money. This puts you about $4 over one jar of Devlin mud, but it will likely last you the rest of your life. I add mineral spirits to the oil until you can see the capillary reaction when you touch it to a paper towel. Next, just paint it into the recesses. It should naturally flow in like a Games Workshop wash. Now we get to the part that makes this technique special. Oil paints have a super long drying time compared to acrylics, so we can just use a Q-tip, or in my case, a makeup sponge, to wipe off away the excess paint. It's like using an undo button. Metaphor. Nah, close enough. Moving on, I seal the mini again here because it lets me skip the two day waiting period for the oils to dry. I am supposed to move on to painting the rest of the car, but this paint is so fresh. And I'm too excited to get into the freehand. I start off by printing out a copy of the mural that I scaled to the car. I then lay out some masking tape and adhere the image to it. I cut the image out and create a mask that I will use to create the outline of the freehand. Oh, sorry, that's cheating. Well, my policy on cheating is when it comes to the hobby side, always. So I apply the mask and spray on Vallejo Violet Red. I try to lay out the magenta, but I don't really lay it down thick enough and I will end up going back later. I peel the masking off and we're ready to get freehanding. I start by blocking in the lettering with a zoom blue and I add a little flow improver to it just so that it slides off my brush a little easier. After I get halfway through the lettering, I get a little worried that I will put the words in the wrong spots if I don't place the silhouette. So I do that in pure black.
just the blue lettering and move on to tracing out the yellow inner lettering. I'm doing it in white here because the yellow paint is much closer to a stain than a paint. triangles in white, then go back over them with sunrise yellow. deep sky blue to paint in the light blue accents. Then smooth out the white in the lettering and silhouette. I deepened the purple and magenta, then added the drip effects. Next, I painted in the dark blue details, like the clouds.
Here, I traced over the white lettering with sun yellow. Next, we are going to block in the small car details like the tires, headlights, and license plate. I try, but can't quite get the car windows as smooth as I would like with a brush. So I decide to mask them off and paint them with the airbrush. I mask off the front window and paint it with a 4 to 1 mix of pure black and azure blue. From here, I highlight up toward the window's top corner by adding some ghost white to my mix. I then move on to cleaning up the yellow on the car. If I had painted the car in a more forgiving color, like blue, this would be easy to fix with some basic brushwork. But instead, I decided to do this mural on a yellow cab. Not a great plan. In order for this to match my base coat, I have to tape off the painted sections of the car and use the airbrush. I start with white since again, yellow has coverage similar to a stain. After building up my white, I go back and cover it with sun yellow. And finally, I wrap up my work by adding all the small details to the car, like the headlights, taillights, and the number 42 on the license plate. And with that, the car is done. Since I started this project, Guild Ball has been discontinued. So this channel's focus is actually going to shift to Marvel. If this is your first time on my channel, be sure to hit subscribe so you know when I put out something new. I've got a Patreon with some behind the scenes stuff. Let me know in the comments if you're inspired to try out some freehand, or hit me up on Twitter with your Marvel projects. My name, Vincent Kirkhoff. Who? Vincent Kirkhoff, man. Make YouTube videos about movies and stuff. <laughs>